W50s stop. So I uh, did most of the inletting in between uh, the last video and this one. Uh, I'm just doing the finishing touches on it. Um, and once you get to the uh, final little small um, cutouts and squaring up the inletting and everything, you have to change out to uh, different bits, you know, when you use a larger uh, bit, it doesn't get all the way into the corners and all the tight radiuses, so you have to swap out, that's what I'm doing right here, is just uh, swapping out from the uh, long reach quarter inch bits to a uh, smaller around those bit and get into the corners. I still have to clean it up a little bit. But that's pretty much uh, just fine. I've had a bunch of other stops that have been done. Uh, I'm still got people waiting on uh, uh, 30 of the R7 stock and uh, a couple 124s. Uh, got a couple 124 stocks that have done, but I still got a check run. Them to an action. Uh, I'm I'm leaving these. It's like I edited out. I still edited out a lot of uh, video in this. You know, I'm just kind of hitting the high spots. This whole video it runs about 20 minutes. It's uh. I don't think I had you know, like two and a half hours of footage doing uh, just finishing up the inletting and scraping the inletting and getting everything fit. Uh, you'll see later in the video I had a little bit of trouble with uh, getting the receiver to the end straight. Uh, no, I didn't follow all the way through to the end of the uh, slot where the bracket sits. And I had to go back and clean it up a little bit. Anyway. Uh, one thing, yeah, this video is pretty much me just doing inlay. Uh, I don't get into any finish work or. You know, sanding, finishing. Or, uh, one common mistake when people buy do-it-yourself stocks is they'll uh, do all the sanding and the finishing on the outside and then letting last. Uh, you know, stocks get kind of bumped around a good bit when you're, and, you know, you want to do all your final finishing after you've cleaned up and done, got all the inletting. You want it where the action can bolt up without any uh, without any more fitting you want it to be you know the final finishing is one of the last things you do and then after you're completely finished with it you would do checkering on these these are laminates I don't typically checker laminates um, 
I can, but uh, I typically don't. But uh, just for information, it's like if you're doing checkering, it's, uh, it's the absolute last thing you do. Um, I've had people buy do-it-yourself stocks, which are pretty much, if you're looking, these stocks are coming off here right now. They still have a lot of fitting and stuff to be done. This would be considered a do-it-yourself stock. And uh, I've had people send me do-it-yourself stocks and ask me to checker them. Uh, you know, before they even do the finishing and, uh, you know, if you don't know, you don't know, but, um, I don't know why, uh, someone thinks that they're going to finish a round checkering. Because these things, are, you know, you can see they're pretty rough coming off the duplicator. Anyway, now I gotta cut the ends off of the uh, all the centers and blocks off the end of it and true up the uh, the forks. I typically do all that on the bandsaw right here. Anything you can do on the bandsaw, uh, as far as giving a little shape, uh, anything you can do to, uh, you know, make it where you're not having to grind it off with the with a disc or sanding belt or something like that, and it speeds up the process. You know, I just I decided to go ahead and throw both clips in. Uh, I'm pretty much doing both of these at the same time. I'm not trying to knock one out. If I'm doing one process, I typically do like cutting the ends off. I'll cut it off, both off at the same time. When I'm a little further in the video where you see me, um, you know, fitting the receiver to the um, to the stock and everything, I, I do both of them at the same time. It's really not. Um, I just hate going back and doing another one after uh, once I get in the groove and doing each process it's just hard to go back and do it again after I get one done just like I was talking about it is a temptation to, to want to just knock one out and be done but it's the same way with you know people and I'm, I'm just as guilty as anyone else I, you don't want to sand the outside of it and see what it's going to look like and throw some finish on it and see what it's going to, you know, turn out like. Uh, but we have to resist that temptation because it, 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 uh, it really bites you in the butt. Coming back and refinishing after you've already done some finishing. Because of some little bump or something like that. Anyway, I'm just, really, right here I'm just looking to see if the, uh, I just bandsawed out the uh, forks. I want to make sure they're spaced evenly from the uh, breech block. Got the same on each side, everything running straight. Now, I'll say later on that uh, things get a little bit uh, off, uh, talking about the receiver laying in there. It's not a lot. I mean... I think I probably only took off maybe ten thousandths on one side to uh, to get the receiver to lay in straight. Anyway, I'll talk about it here in a minute. Yeah, hey, yeah. This is another thing, it's like getting a sanding out the forks to uh, be even and straight. It's, you can know, do it with a bandsaw, don't it? 
don't sit there and try to uh, some people use wood grass and wrap it and coarse paper and everything else and it's like any, anything you can do without uh, using abrasives I mean you have to use abrasives to you know get the finish you want on it and everything but anything you can do to uh, keep from using an abrasive is a win videos you'll be you know, have a pretty good idea of what all went into it start to finish. At this point, I'm uh, making sure everything lines up. When it goes in, it's like one of the most common problems doing a air rifle stock is uh, when you go to set it in, the um, either the bracket on the HW50, oh, you can't even see that's not even a shot. The bracket in the HW50 is like rides in a groove, and you got to make sure that when it goes down, it's aligned. The forks are straight. Um, your screw holes line up, which ain't exactly easy to see, but you can kind of look at the cocking. Uh, I mean, the trigger slot. And I can tell you, looking at this, that it's trying to walk off center. does indeed look to be the slot that the bracket fits in is kind of slightly off. This is something that um, I've run a drum on these things for a long time. Uh, I've seen some inletting really messed up bad. Uh, by someone using a Dremel. Anyway, there's a little divot. In the, uh, in the bottom of an HW50 where the front lug lines up. I'm I kind of hand fit that part. Just keep laying the receiver into it and do it. Uh, so everything's kind of lined up right. And Once I get the forks lined up to where they look like they're running true, um, get a slight impression where the uh, front stock lug will. Uh, go in I'll uh, make my own screw cups and uh, countersink it after I've uh, done this whole I typically do this uh, after 
uh, all the duplicating so I can get everything to line up perfectly. Man, that's noisy. <clears throat> I'm looking at this thing. And Anyway, we're starting to wind this down. Uh, this is all I'm going to do on this video. Uh, the next, I'll, I'll try and make the videos a little shorter. Next time I'll uh, show truing up the screw holes and uh, making the screw cup, pressing it down in, getting everything lined up. I've got uh, guide rods that go into the action and that will yeah you know, I'll go ahead and put a hole a slight hole going through it a little undersized and then I use a thing that looks like a yeah, rotor brooch uh, it's a countersink with a hole through the center of it so the guide rod will hold it perfectly in alignment I'll do that on the uh, next video And yeah, it's just me uh, bumping it, getting an impression on it, looking in the inlet and touching everything up. I cut this down quite a bit. Um, You know, scraping and sanding and uh, squaring up the ends where the action is so it'll be a good snug fit. So the action can't move forward and backwards. Anyway, I think that's about it. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a good one.